Okay, so we just did the little um, first eye, third eye test, um, or whatever you want to call it, um, with the change on this um, gentleman's forehead, and all of them stuck. Oops. Now, all of a sudden, mine don't want to stick. I think I was wrinkling my forehead or whatever. Anyways, oh my gosh, shut up. That's crazy. Listen. There it is. Anyways, so. Hold on, that's crazy. I think as soon as, soon as I put this laptop open on on my lap. Hold on. Let me put my foot. Okay. Anyways. I just dropped that change on the ground. Hold on. Okay. So let me get back to the topic of discussion. So I was I was just explaining that we both basically have our first eye aka third eye open however that does not necessarily mean that we have the same eyesight or the same sight in the spiritual realm as each other okay and what i was going to tell him and what i'm telling him now ex going to explain on this video is that just like he and I both have our regular eye sight. Um, we could have different degrees to what our eyesight is capable of. So, do you do you wear? Are are you supposed to wear glasses? Yes. Okay. What is your what's your prescription? Um, I don't. Yeah, but my eyesight's pretty bad. Okay, but it's, just guesstimate uh, what it was. To tell you the truth is. Um, I don't remember it was years ago. Is it 200 over what? Yeah. I mean, is it? Because 2020 is perfect vision. Yeah. So anything outside of that is. I had, I had it bad. I had, it was pretty bad. So my eyesight's pretty, not, that, not that good. Okay. So I actually have 2020 vision, and I feel like I'm going into the ninth, tenth sense. I don't know where you. Where you you have it better than 2020 vision. So in this context of uh just regular eyesight, you have two people that can see, right? But at various capabilities, okay? Now, the other thing is that being a masculine and feminine uh, masculines tend to have color blindness. Okay, that is something that is more unique based off of gender. Okay, so my whole thing, even when I was like doing art and everything, um, I I started to scientifically question because. Let, let's let's say in an art class you have a uh, a subject or a model okay you you have a glass or a mug or you have a human model right and what I started to think about is how do we all agree with different varying sites right that this thing or this individual looks the same way so when all these artists are drawing this thing or this individual they are coming out with pretty much the same thing right how do we agree on that <laughs> on that thing or individual being there Oh no, it like my mind goes deep into you know different thoughts mm -hmm. about reality and the matrix and what exists and, and what we can see because 
these cats, like Nieve Tigre, right, can see 16 times better than what we can see, right? And, you know, a lot of people agree that cats can see spirits, right? So they're seeing spectrums of light that we can't see and perceive on a very high level. You know, it kind of, it kind of irks me too. Like people think that they're so advanced and they're so involved, but all these animals have way more heightened skills you know what yeah, I'm saying? Than, than what we do. Yeah. Get it. Other than being in the street, get out of the street. Oh, you know I don't like you in the street. Anyways, he are you trying to disrupt my video? <laughs> Come on, get it out of the street. I don't know why he likes. He like he likes playing with this broom. So as soon as I get the broom, <laughs> he just be going wild over the broom. So. Thankfully, I have that to get him his ass out the street. Yep. Because he was just about to run back up in there. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. So, we, you know, agree that something, you know, is in a particular time and space, right? But then there are those that don't agree, okay? So... Those people that allegedly have like uh, schizophrenia or see, you know, spirits or, or th different things, aliens or, or, or what have you, they don't agree with what we see and what we don't see because they're seeing things other than what we can perceive, right? I don't think, I really don't think that that is a... Uh, what was that? I'm gonna put down. Oh, okay. I I don't think that that is uh, a mental illness per se. I think that is a gift that has not been honed in and tuned and actually uh, explored as it should in a constructive and productive way. Instead, these alleged doctors, right, want to shut it down with medication immediately, you know, so that's why I think they got superhuman powers that, you know, these alleged doctors want to shut down because they don't want them, you know, having those types of skills because they might see something that they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see. <laughs> so there was a couple of videos that I seen um, floating around the, the net, right? And on these videos, you can clearly see dark blobs of shadowy energy that were not... Uh, in a human body form per se but they were in a kind of get out of the street nieve <laughs> tigre then it goes right back come on you see okay he he's at night you know cats are nocturnal so he's he's on the hunt and uh this building sprays for um you know insects and everything but there's gutters and things that roaches come out of i'm talking about the big big roaches and um and then there's a, a whole bunch of crickets right now so he loves to eat both of those and uh, the gutters are in the street so you know I like crickets too. huh i like crickets too you eat them yeah no, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, well there's people that do and they, and and they eat uh 
the um the roaches too yeah they eat chocolate they put chocolate on them cover roaches and and chocolate covered crickets so i i i will have to admit this we're going on a quick tangent real quick um is that i actually ate cricket chips mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so um I don't care if you judge me or not. They were they were fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're instead of I guess using like a corn like as a base or whatever, they used crickets, and uh, it tastes kind of smoky. Uh, and I I don't remember it having any kind of smoke flavoring per se uh, that was added to the chips because they they were really actually. Uh, seeming to be quite healthy anyways i think there's a whole agenda about you know eating bugs and everything however um yeah yeah uh well i'll have to get into that whole subject on a whole nother video um but what i what i do want to say about this whole thing uh regarding these videos that i've seen is that these shadowy blobs were literally like with in each video they were like over crowds of people you hear me so it was like a festival one of them looked like a festival or something so there's a lot a lot of people see get out of the street the car is coming get out of the street <laughs> No, it really wasn't, but still. Yeah, but he shouldn't be in the street. He, sh- he sh- should not be in the street. So, the, the thing is, is that the other one, it was at a concert, okay? And it was like the, the black, shadowy, blobby kind of figure. I don't want to say blob as in it was like rounded because it was more like kind of thinner and lanky or whatever and sometimes it took kind of like characteristics of human form but not even close it was still real like uh the the best word i could say is blobby but it's not blob as in like rounded so anyways um that is just not very um detailed it's not a detailed shape that you could actually make out an actual figure okay um of like a human or something like that right and so it's kind of like an undefined morphine like black cloud if you will and so anyways yes so it was hovering over people in this crowd and you could see it like literally like like i guess the word could be jumping but it was like darting or like very fast movement from like one individual to another individual or an area to another area it was like going um you know when it would move to another individual it would move fast okay but it was like in some aspects it seemed like it was god dang there's a lot of poopo out right now good god it was one of the stone. Then now, like, two went that way, three came back this way, and then one went that way and one went that way. That's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot of popo. What I don't know. What is going on? Anyways, demons and the, the demons and the what do you say? The demons and the uh, uh, the, the hovering haters, like over the haters and the, and the demons. Oh, night. oh yeah, yeah. You know what? And matter of fact, they were there. There was some kind of thick in this area for me, yeah. a little bit, a little bit ago, not not that long ago. So, but this is the thing. It, in some instances, 
you know how like you start to get a bad thought in your mind mm -hmm. right it's it reminded me of how how these energies dark cloud blob demonic en energies were moving right it reminded me of like you know when they were it, like the over someone testing out whether they could get that thought to stick and they could like pour in more of that negativity so that they could get that individual feeling down and feed off of their energy you know because they feed off of the the energy right fear and um fear anger so oh excuse me so the people that i it looked like they weren't able to do that to it was like they hovered for a second they couldn't get it to stick and they went to another individual that they they could mm -hmm. you know and then they could feed off of them and they would stay there and feed off of that area and then they would hop on to the next one yeah but these videos i wish i could show you these these videos you could totally see them quite clearly i don't know if it was you could see them so well because of the type of camera phone that this individual had but you could see them clear as day yeah somebody was watching the video and they're taking a video of watching the video right and they were like oh my god what's that right because it's like it's not like you know our shadow this this thing is like imagine our shadow but jet black but the other thing. yeah yep and so there's people that can see those without uh you know a device or whatever most children prior to you know any social programming um prior to having their you know senses shut down or whatever you know school and preschool and kindergarten and all all that schooling or whatever or programming the programming you out of these uh different sites and awareness right anyways i'm not gonna make this video long i just wanted to you know just touch on this little you know conversation that we were having regarding sight because you know he did he did the, the test with um each of the coins they stuck well first i showed him with mine how how they stuck and then he tried it with the same um coins or whatever that were his right so then no like magic magnets and strings and craziness they were his and i, I used his so he seen me do it and he was actually able to do it too and we started getting into this conversation um in which i was like wait everybody just like regular eyesight everybody has different capabilities with their regular two eyes it's the same thing with the spiritual eyes as well people some people have bad vision okay but they have the vision still and other people have 2020 plus you know going into like superman s excuse you excuse me uh superman uh x-ray vision Sorry, or whatever and so I want to listen. You, you're the one that's going to be on my YouTube video for <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just had four burritos right now. Boom burritos, and that, that, that was what did it. Oh, okay. The beans, beans, the magical uh, the beans, fruit. Yeah, beans, 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 beans. That's my, this just pushed out right now on accident. So, um. Rewind that. Edit that out. He said, edit it out. Mm -hmm. Um. So. <laughs> 
I meant to burp, not fart. <laughs> uh, I have I have a story. Somebody in the in, in my community remind me if I don't put it up there about one of my clients, uh, my fitness clients, um, having a uh, embarrassing fart incident or whatever. I've had a few of them, and uh, you're live too, huh? And and so they had. Um, well, let me just tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you really quick. So, all of my clients. It, that I would train for fitness, I would save out the last five minutes, whether it was a 30 minute session or an hour session, which m most of my career I did hour sessions. And and then I had to start cutting them back because I had so too many people on waiting lists trying to train with me. So anyways, uh, five minutes I would save to, to stretch and kill people's abs, right? at the very end that would be the last thing that we would do okay and so we get to the uh mat to do the abs right and you know when you're doing abs you tighten you tightening and you crunching and you you know and so this client of mine worked out a fart you mm -hmm. know and um i was i'm i grew up a tomboy number one number two uh, being in the fitness industry, people end up farting because their body is moving and it helps it, you know, that flagellants to work its way out, right? That air, that gas, whether you're doing cardio on a treadmill with all that bumpity bump, you know, or you all, you doing crunches, you know, it, it's, it, can, sit here like this. <laughs> it can, it can work its way out, you know? I just sit here like I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, so... This client farted and was so embarrassed because, you know, we in the gym, like yeah. there's a, a whole bunch of people there, you know? And so they got so embarrassed that they never came back. <laughs> and so I, I get how embarrassing farts can be, okay? And I have my own whole fart story of embarrassment that I probably should do on another video. No, I'll do. I'll do it right now. Anyways, it, so because this this video has went on so many tangents. Anyways, so let me tell you my embarrassing fart video. Okay, he farted. Talked about my client. So let me let me just share mine too. So we all even. Okay, because I farted. Okay, mm -hmm. he farted. I farted before. People fart. Okay, not that it's supposed to be quote unquote normal. But it, it is a normal function, um, you know, for your body to do, not necessarily a healthy body per se, um, you know, that's eating properly or whatever. So anyways, this is the point, okay, is that I was a tomboy. I was quite young, okay, and there was a, a little bit older child. I kind of had a crush on him, and I don't know. I hung out with like a lot of his family. His family just loved me, right? But regardless of me having a crush on him, I really didn't hang with him as much. I, I hung with his older siblings that were way older than me, okay? His brother and sister. And, um, and you know, I, I even chilled with his grandma. Grandma would, would be, just sit by me praying and, and just be crying just like, like I was Jesus or something. And so anyway... <laughs> Um, but she, she was very, her spirit and her energy was so pure though. Oh my God. His grandmother's been, oh, I, I love that lady too, but she passed away, but I still, I still have love for her. Anyways. So fast forward. I don't really kick it with this guy that much, but I'm cool with his whole family. And I have kicked it with him, you know, somewhat, but not as much as, as his older siblings and I think he's cute right and so but I'm a tomboy so I don't really know like how to like really express that or be girly to anyway so the point is, is that for some reason we had somebody coming down the block that we lived on because we were neighbors we were like one house away from each other when I was living in this foster home. So anyways, 
somebody was coming down our block and we were like both at the same time like we were gonna hide from him or whatever i don't know why we had to hide from him i can't remember but we ran behind the house and we crouched down behind these bushes or whatever we're hiding from whoever this was i can't remember who it was or why we were hiding but what i because what i really do remember is that when we were hiding right we supposed to be being quiet right and you know yeah we were we supposed to be hiding okay i farted <laughs> i farted and it was that much more okay first first of all i farted when we supposed to be being quiet okay so i could have blown our cover but i didn't okay secondly i farted and i was kind of crushing on dude you know i was young he was young you know but it was like oh man you know dang i farted in front of him you know type thing so that changed a lot of my life because after that incident i held my farts in which was not good <laughs> <laughs> I not only held my farts in, I would hold them so much that when I would get a chance to fart, right, away from people and go to the restroom or whatever, man, I would have a hard time getting my farts out. And one time I thought I was going to die and it was just gas all up in my chest. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack or, or something. It was like my heart. My whole chest was just like tensed up. It was like a big old like I was getting stabbed or something. It was weird. It was it was hurting. It was painful, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna die," but it was just gas. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I was young, cause I was holding my farts. So, anyways, yeah, the fart sagas. People go through it. Yeah. So, yeah, for many years I held my farts. I don't hold them no more. So if it stinks, you're gonna, you might just have to deal with it. Yeah, cause I'll, I'll rather be out than in. Okay. So, anyways, with that being said, we're gonna end this video. Have a good day, everybody. Peace.